How am I supposed to save her? No, 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 no. Don't worry. Well, this is new. Hello, all. I come to you from my room back home, which is what you see around me. I'm back home, at least until Christmas when we go back to my grandma and grandpa's house, but for the rest of December, I will be here in my room. I just watched Santa, the Santa Claus 2 and the Santa Claus 3 yesterday, so today I am going to review the entire trilogy. Let's get started with the Santa Claus. This is a really good movie. You can't necessarily say that it's overly plot-driven like the other two are, but in a way I do think that works to the film's advantage. For those of you who don't know, the Santa Claus is about this guy, Scott Calvin, who inadvertently causes Santa to fall from his roof and kind of die, but not really. But either way, Santa Claus gives up the job and Scott Calvin inadvertently picks it up. And what this movie really is about is Scott Calvin at first trying to avoid the fact that he's Santa Claus and then eventually accepting the fact that he's Santa Claus. Also, I really love the character of Bernard in this movie. I love the fact that he just kind of appears whenever he wants to. He even appears inside Scott's house, and that's pretty hilarious. Next was The Santa Claus 2. This is my personal favorite of the three movies. I do like the fact that it's more plot-driven than the first one is. This has to deal with Scott Calvin having to get married by Christmas Eve because of the Mrs. Claus. Not only that, but he also has to deal with his son Charlie, who was also in the first movie, but it's now eight years later, so he's in his teens, because he got on the naughty list. And so what it really is is Scott trying to, in a way, balance work with family. And there's also the whole marriage thing, which I do have to admit is a little strange. I'm not really sure why it took eight years for the Mrs. Claus to take effect, and I'm not really sure why no one thought to tell him this earlier so that he could have more time to do it. But despite that, I still think this is one of my favorite movies. It introduces a lot of new characters, like the Council of Legendary Figures, and I love every single council member. It also introduces Lily, who is just adorable, and also Chet, who is voiced by Kath Susie, so there's that too. And finally, Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. I know that it has got a lot of mixed reviews, mostly negative, but me personally, I still like it. Martin Short and Tim Allen work very well together, so it was very nice that they put them together in this movie. It does have flaws, Bernard didn't come back, and I wasn't really expecting Bernard to come back, but I was kind of hoping that there'd be some explanation as to why he wasn't there. And the ending was kind of... hokey. I'm not gonna go into any details here, but... I can't really say I didn't see it coming, but it still... it was... it was hokey. But one thing I did like was that they did make Lily a more central character to the plot, which was very nice, because not only is this kid adorable, but she's also a fairly good actor, which is nice. It also does look into this alternate reality where Scott Calvin wasn't Santa Claus, which I think is interesting because I'm always a fan of alternate universes. So ultimately, while this is the weakest of the three and there are problems with it, I still like it, and I think the entire trilogy is very well done. And that was my thought on the Santa Claus trilogy. I'm curious as to what you think of the movies, if you've seen them. That is all for today. So, I will see you all tomorrow, back here with this background, and it shall be glorious. Bye.